Blast through on the 60k Bitcoin level. We are pumping. Today it's pumping hot here. 35 degrees Celsius. It's ludicrous. Woo! We sweating hard. Anyways, so I hope you are sweating the most out of your equity and making sure that you are investing into Bitcoin. Use my Bybit link down below. Get yourself an incredibly awesome and beautiful Bybit bonus. Let's go and have a look here. I'm going to show you very quickly um, that we have experienced now, interestingly, so one, two, three tops and uh, a little bit of a floor right here at this point on Bitcoin. So for me, we're getting very, very close to that time that we could be breaking out. Do you think it's going to be to the upside or to the downside? Let me know down below in the comments. Alrighty, but let's get on to some cool news out there today. Today, you can see here, new, the Bitcoin ETF saw $263 million in inflows yesterday, which was the 13th, so Friday. And this brought in the most amount of liquidity in the last two months. That is magnifique. Where do you think all of this buy is happening? If we are currently busy pumping on Bitcoin over the time frame like this, this little red candle is just here today. That was yesterday's candle, $263 million. Imagine when billions come into this market, what that's going to do to this market. So I don't know about you, but net asset inflows are incredibly powerful. And so even to the point where you can see in a ordinary airport, Van Eck has a advert that is saying buy and hold the Van Eck Bitcoin ETF for zero fees. You want to get into the market? Well, then this is where to get into it. According to them, if you are a true real investor like myself and you have my Bybit link down below, well, my friend, you're going to be making lots of money and you will own your own liquidity especially if you take it and put it into your your hardware wallet so i like the fact that blackrock just in spot etf ibit did 1.1 billion in trading volume today that was on the 13th of september that was yesterday so 1.1 billion dollars worth of trading if you think that's like a little i don't know what to do with you but Justin, $270 billion asset manager, founder, Rick Edelman, says that Bitcoin will be 420000 by 2030. $420,000. I love this. Sounds about right. Hope you are enjoying your blazing Saturday. 2030. I don't know. I think it's going to do that a lot sooner. So please stop selling your Bitcoin to the MicroStrategy and BlackRock Bitcoin whales. Own your own Bitcoin. Don't let them hold custody of your Bitcoin, especially if you know what to do with it. Because BlackRock, my friend, I'll do a video on it. BlackRock is doing some crazy stuff out there. Remember, you will own nothing and be happy. So property, stock, food, medicine, your money, hashtag just say. You can see here, MicroStrategy, Mr. Michael Saylor, BlackRock together in their institutions with a Bitcoin ETF, MicroStrategy and BlackRock Bitcoin ETF combined hold 602,000 Bitcoin that are combined with 35.1 billion dollars. My friend, I don't know about you. I got me a good bag of Bitcoin right now. Hope you do too. Breaking MicroStrategy buys an additional 18,300 Bitcoin for 1.11 billion dollars. Oh. <laughs> I think you're getting my point. New rich dad, poor dad author says the real problem is the $35 trillion US debt that neither Trump nor Kamala can solve. Stop saving dollars and start saving Bitcoin. And if you know 
he's a friend to Trump. Okay, so he's even saying that about his friend. I like his jacket, it's pretty nice. What do you think? Not only that, but Bitcoin addresses with a balance of 0.1 BTC. If you have more than 0.1 one B, one BTC down in the comments, make some noise or leave a purple heart down there, please. I'd love to know. Smash the like button. Okay, that would be even better. Justin, Bitcoin addresses with a balance of 0.1 hit a nearing all-time high. Strong demands are strong hands are buying. Not only that, but the European Central Bank this week raised their, uh, sorry, lowered their interest rates, excuse me, lowered their interest rates by 25 basis points. The Fed is absolutely and undoubtedly next. The Fed is absolutely and undoubtedly next. So we have to study Bitcoin and make sure that we are protecting our wealth and our income. Asset class market cap comparison. Bitcoin's market cap is just a small fraction of the value of traditional traditional asset classes like gold and real estate. We are so early. Bitcoin is only at a $1 trillion market cap. Gold, $17 trillion. Art is $18 trillion. Stocks is $110 trillion. Fiat, $120. Global debt, $315. And real estate, $330. That means Bitcoin can 350 times, if it had to reach real estate, the value of real estate one day, which it will, 330 times the amount that it is today, my friend. And this is a, this is an epic, this is a into the future. So don't take my words as though this is about to happen tomorrow. Okay. But that gives us a $19.8 million Bitcoin at the total just of that, let alone if it envelops half or more or all of that, right? All right, you can see here that once we break out of this area here, it's currently resistance, we're bouncing in between it. Once we reclaim the bull market bands, okay, you can see here, boom, reclaim, twists up and we ride it up. Reclaim, boom, twists and ride it up. Uh -huh. Shout out to the sculpt Sculpting Pro. Not only that, but the buy signal has come in for Bitcoin on the hash ribbons. And the hash ribbons is telling us to buy on last week's candle already. And hence why this week's candle, the this week is quite bullish. It told us to buy here. Isn't that interesting, right? And last but not least, you can see here that there is the accumulation, the breakout, the continuation, and a peak. Accumulation, breakout, um, more accumulation, continuation, and a peak. This is now on the altcoins. Altcoins are going to get ready to explode like absolute crazy. So if I were you, my friend, I would make sure that we are very much looking directly at this incredibly powerful springboard that is currently happening right there. And allowing this part, this chart to express to us that we are now bouncing on the weekly off of the 50 moving average here. Very, very bold. Very, very powerful. But not least, the last thing that I want to show you. Just like I showed you here on Bybit. Use my Bybit link down below. We're hitting a zone here. Well, what does this look like? So... Not only have we had a buy signal from the UT bots right here at this area, we are now coming into resistance at the 100, which coincidentally is hitting resistance right here. So not only that, we have broken right back through the 20 moving average. And generally, once we do that, we find support between the 20 and the 50 moving average and the 100, 100, with a MACD pushing up the stochastic a little oversold, but we know that Bitcoin likes to stay up for long. So for me, once we break out here, we hit this probably 63 to 64K level, pull back down to the zone right here, then continue the momentum up to break that very strong resistance that we have up here at the 72K level. 
Now, what's vo most important and intriguing to me right now is two last things. First of all, we're coming to the apex of this pattern. Fake out, pull right back up. Fake out, pull right back up. Okay, Bitcoin is confirming on multiple occasions, especially if you've been watching my videos. I've been doing some crazy videos for you, different, all kinds. So I hope you appreciate that. Show some love. But right now we have an estimated of 14 days left before we actually get out of this very, very, in fact, 12 days left before we get out of this apex on this A-frame here. Now, the one thing that I just want to make very clear to you is, is that generally these apex patterns break out a, a few days before they get to the end. They don't wait till the last minute to get out. They normally kind of break a week or so before. So are we due to break out on Bitcoin this week? You let me know down in the comments below. Last thing I want to show you is the moon phases. I've showed you this on multiple videos. And as always, you can see on new moons being the blue dots, the price drops. On full moons, the price pumps. Full moon, price pumps. Full moon, price pump. Full moon, price pump. New moon, drop. New moon, drop. We haven't come to the full moon. And this full moon, my friend, just happens to be an eclipse full moon. What do you think is going to happen to Bitcoin? I believe that we're going to break out of here, close nicely above the 100 because we've closed a candle on the daily above the 200 daily moving average that is extraordinarily bullish right now. So if I were you, I would be making sure that you have your bags jam packed right here right now. Because once we hit full moon on Tuesday, you see what I'm saying? Tuesday is like three days away, okay? We could end up breaking out between that day and the next week. Okay. Thanks for being here, part of the Crypto Bliss channel. Truly appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I only have 14% of my viewers that are subscribed, and I would truly appreciate the love and the share on the video. Much love, and I hope you enjoyed that value given to you right there, right now, my friend. Take care. See you later.